He is known for his compositions in various genres including instrumental, chamber, orchestral, and choral works. He is recognized for his notable piano sonata in F minor, op 8 and his five bagatelles, op 9, for piano which are still performed today. His name is Howard Ferguson. In the world of music, there is a name that may not be familiar to many, but his contributions are truly legendary. Howard Ferguson, an Irish composer and musicologist from Belfast, left an indelible mark on the musical landscape. While his name may not be as well known as some of his contemporaries, his compositions continue to captivate audiences to this day. Ferguson's musical genius knew no bounds, as he composed a wide range of works across different genres. From instrumental and chamber pieces to orchestral and choral compositions, his versatility was unmatched. But it is his piano sonata in F minor, op 8 that stands out as a shining example of his brilliance. This masterpiece showcases Ferguson's ability to weave together intricate melodies and harmonies, creating a captivating and emotional journey for the listener. Another notable work by Ferguson is his Five Bagatelles, Op 9, specifically composed for the piano. These delightful pieces are a testament to Ferguson's craftsmanship and his ability to create music that is both accessible and profound. Each bagatelle tells its own unique story, showcasing Ferguson's ability to evoke a range of emotions through his compositions. While Ferguson's music may not have achieved widespread recognition, it is important to recognize the profound significance of his contributions. His works represent some of the most important music to emerge from Northern Ireland in the 20th century. Through his compositions, Howard Ferguson has left a lasting legacy in the world of music, reminding us of the power of artistic expression and the ability of a single individual to make a profound impact on the world. Born in Belfast, Howard Ferguson's musical talent was recognized at a young age, leading to several school prizes. Encouraged by pianist Harold Samuel, he traveled to London to study under him and furthered his education at Westminster School and the Royal College of Music. There, he studied composition with R. O. Morris and Ralph Vaughan Williams, and conducting with Malcolm Sargent. It was during this time that he formed a lifelong friendship with fellow student Gerald Finzi. His early compositions, such as his octet of 1933, gained significant success. Hashtag next hashtag. During World War II, Ferguson played a vital role in helping Myra Hess organize morale-boosting concerts at the National Gallery. After the war, he became a teacher at the Royal Academy of Music, where he mentored talented students like Richard Rodney Bennett and Cornelius Cardew. Although he recognized Bennett's exceptional natural talent, he felt that he lacked a personal musical style. Hashtag next hashtag. Ferguson's music is characterized by its haunting and searching quality, as if posing deeply personal questions that remain unanswered. In his song Cycle Discovery, he skillfully expresses these introspective inquiries through aphoristic and fleeting settings of Denton Welch's surrealistic poetry. One of his most notable compositions is the stormy and passionate piano sonata, Op 8, inspired by the death of a friend. His violin sonatas, especially the second, exude a ferocious energy in a sense of liberation after a long period of silence. Hashtag next hashtag. While Ferguson's compositions often hint at larger works, they possess a crystalline intensity in their miniatures, such as the four short pieces for clarinet and piano and the three sketches for flute and piano. Despite his admiration for Anton Webern, Ferguson's own work belongs to the sound world of 20th century romanticism. As a composer, Ferguson was highly self-critical, and after completing a large choral work titled The Dream of the Rude, he felt he had said all he wanted to say and stopped composing. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.